I'm a television engineer. We uh, are the guys behind the scenes to make sure that all the cameras, videotape equipment, uh, switchers, things of that nature are provided to the director. Right now I'm looking at some of the test signals that are used in the broadcast of television. We use the color bars for setting up our videotape machines and it's a reference or a standard for broadcasters. In dealing with problems uh, associated with the equipment and the circuitry, we use um, all types of test equipment. Uh, most of the stations have plenty of different types of test equipment available, both for audio testing and uh, video, video to tape testing procedures. The tape machines have a lot of self-diagnostic uh, circuits uh, that enable you to troubleshoot problems. Some of the skills that have to be developed is to figure out what is happening in an amplifier, what component failed, and uh, you have to have some manual dexterity too to remove components and solder. You have to have a good eye for finding some of the small problems that occur, whether it be a busted wire or a bad solder joint or something like that. You have to analyze circuitry, learn how to read schematics. A video engineer has to have a good eye for color. He has to be able to discern between many different shades of uh, colors and the saturations in the, uh, the color portion of the picture. Television isn't just pretty pictures. Television is high quality audio. And part of the engineer's job is to make sure that the audio matches the video as far as quality goes. Now, before we saw the color bars pattern, which is used at the head of all our programs for a reference, the audio portion is similar. We use a oscillator, which is calibrated to a thousand cycles, and we use this for a reference for all our equipment. Most of the people that are working in broadcasting have got experience in small stations, either in high schools, college level broadcasting experience, and uh, most of the engineering people have gone to either technical school or a vocational school for uh, learning the basics of broadcasting. If you want to get into broadcasting, the first thing you have to do is get some basic courses down in electronics. Vocational schools are offering courses in electronics, and uh, you can take communications courses in college. A lot of people, after high school, they get into the military for their training, and that is a, an excellent source of information and training for electronics. It's amazing how many things that we take for granted in broadcasting. Everybody at home thinks that uh, turn the set on and there it is, away we go. The program just comes out the uh, down the antenna wire and we see a whole program. But really, there's so many things that make up a show, uh, both in the recording and the transmission. Uh, technology is just exciting today. It's almost mystical to have pictures come through the air and appear at your TV set. <laughs>